guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the next update for my project polish. I'm very excited to share with you my progress but before we jump into any of that, if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family but let's just start talking about my color story. So as you can see this is what my color will look like at the moment and from here are the polishes that's been in here for the longest so I'm going to start with the first one that we have which is this gold glitter. This one comes from a Swedish brand, it's basically like a um, clothing shop so basically similar to like H&M, things like that uh, and it's called Lina Tricot. Um so that's the brand of the polish and the shade is called Rose glitter. I am actually wearing this on my nails today on top of this. It's actually an eyeshadow um, that I'm trying to pan uh, so it's like the orange kind of shade and then the gold glitter is on top of it and I really do like it. I did have a goal to finish this in the last month and I'm happy to report back by saying that I actually managed to finish this polish off. It was a bit of a struggle but it is done now so you can see there that that is where I was the last update and I have now finished it. So it is obviously it looks pretty full if you look at the uh, walls and everything because it is very stuck to the walls this was very very thick even when i rolled it in it was very thick um when i rolled it in i think it was about like where this line is here but i had to put so much filler into it that it went all the way up to the top edge again um, and yeah it was basically a full polish because i had to dilute it so much uh, and then the closer i got to the bottom the more kind of thick it became it it was really really difficult to apply, it was really difficult to make dry on your nails and towards the end I just added a tons of thinner all the time so it kept going back to this line where I was at so it went down and then up again up and yeah it just kept doing that so it was a really difficult to finish but I think I'm done with this now. I can kind of see into it and there is a little bit of polish left but it's so thick and it doesn't really move around anymore and the one doesn't really reach it anymore either. So I am calling this quits even though I didn't really quite manage to get every single drop of this polish. And if you didn't realize um, I did actually use this up uh, two days ago creating this manicure here um, and that is the last time I used this polish and I can tell when applying it on top of this uh, nail polish that it was a bit difficult to get a spread out um, and it was very kind of dry in the form and there wasn't really a lot of base it was mainly just glitter inside of the polish so that polish there is finished up so as you can see this one here was finished up from before so the next one we have is this polish right here which is one that comes from Essie and it is in the shade Stardust so that is what the polish looks like in the bottle you can see it right there it is more of a metallic formula and it is a bit more fiddly to apply I feel like you have to be quite careful so um, it doesn't have streaks and things like that but it is a beautiful polish once you do apply it um, I mean you can see it on my swatch wheel there what it looks like and it is a really nice kind of cool toned dusty pink almost lavender shade and it is stunning and I do really quite like it I like it way more than I thought I would but this past month I haven't really reached for this much but you can see my progress lines here you can see where I was last month and where I am now and it was <laughs> barely any uh, progress I almost didn't make a new line but it was enough progress for me to have um, a little bit of kind of uh, space in between the two lines so I decided to make one anyway but yeah this wasn't a focus polish in the past month and as you can see I have I uh, used this quite a lot in the first two months. I had pretty big progress on it and this past month was just one month that I wanted to focus on some other things and I was really really focused on finishing this one up and I did use this one mainly together with another polish and that created kind of like a nude glittery look which I really enjoyed. I actually loved pairing those together. But then when I wanted something different, this was not something that I wanted to go for because this is still pretty nude, although it is like a lilac color. So as you can see on my swatch reel, the next one again is already finished. We're moving on to this one here. And you can barely see it on the swatch wheel, but it is uh, another nail polish from Essie. This one is in the shade Ballet Slippers. Um, this one is like a really nude, milky pink. It's almost, I wouldn't really say it's almost... Like it's mainly just milky, it's not really that pink, but it has a slight like, pink tint to it and it's very sheer so I usually have to apply at least three layers with this uh, and even then it wouldn't be fully kind of coated, it, it would still kind of be slightly see-through. But I love pairing this one with the gold glitter, I like pairing those on top of each other and it created a beautiful um, look. I have worn it in videos before, I actually think I might have worn it in my last 
product polish update and it is beautiful so because of that um, and me trying to use up the glitter you can see that I have some really good progress on this polish it is really really steady I feel like I can probably finish this polish up in the next two months at least um, I feel like if I focus on it I could probably finish up in the next month but I'm not sure I want to push myself that far yet but I really do like this polish more than I thought I would because originally I thought this would be one that I would reach for more as like a base polish uh, something like that but if I build it up and if I'm careful with how I apply it because it can become streaky if I um, don't apply like even layers but if I apply thin even layers and at least three of them I can get a kind of opaque nail look um, that I quite enjoy so I do like it more than I thought I would like I said but I I'm still happy to be getting some decent use out of it. So the next two things in a swatch wheel are the two that we've rolled in last update let's see it's this glitter right here and this green here so they haven't been in more than one month so the first one is the glitter polish which comes from H&M and this one is in the shade Prismatic and it, comparing it to this glitter right here, they are very very different. This one has a lot of base in it and uh, the glitters are very sparse whereas this one had a lot of glitters and not a lot of base which was an issue towards the end like I mentioned. But um, yeah, this one is a very kind of sparse glitter effect but I do like it. Uh, but I haven't gotten too much progress out of this one, I'm hoping you can see there that that are my lines. Um, so a tiny bit of progress, I think I used this twice, but since I was trying to get so much use out of this other glitter, I just focused on that one and kind of left this um, a little bit kind of to the side. So hopefully next month I should be able to use this as my go-to topper, although the effect is very very different than the other glitter I was working on before. The next polish that I rolled in last month was the uh, green polish right here from Barry M. And this is one of the Jelly High Shines in the shade Kiwi. And I absolutely love this shade. This is the shade that I talked about that I reached for when I was having a break from that glitter, kind of pale pink nail because it is quite a bright shade as you can see and because of that I have decent progress I mean it's not amazing but I still think it's pretty good especially since this is a quite opaque polish and I only need like two coats of it to get full opacity so yeah I am very excited about it and all of this is a very bright and loud color um, and because of that I can't reach for it all the time every time I have worn this I have loved the look of it and I'm almost a bit sad that I'm panning it because I do love it way more than I thought I would I think before rolling it into this project I maybe reach for it like once if that I might it might be completely brand new in my collection um, because I just wasn't drawn to these kind of polishes, uh, but I love it. So I'm very happy to be working on this and it is a perfect color now for spring and summer. So I'm sure that I should be able to finish this up in the next maybe four or five months. So now moving on to the exciting part of the video, which is replacing the polish that I used up. So um, like I said, I finished this one, so I am rolling in something new for it. And I wanted to roll in like a springy shade uh, or like the most springy out of the shades that I still have left that I want to finish up this year. So I decided to go with this shade right here, which comes from Bourchard and it is in the shade, I should look this up, Peace and Mauve, <laughs> which is um, like a lilac -y cream shade. I do really like these kind of shades, especially for spring. And although it might be a little bit different to this polish right here, you can see that this one definitely has more opacity to it and it has more color as well. So I feel like they will create different looks. And I think this will also pay, pair really well with the shade from Essie here. Maybe having this one as an accent nail. So I am excited to roll in that one in. And let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like on the swatch wheel. It is this one here. So you can see it's still a quite a nude polish. But yeah, I think it's just the perfect time of the year to roll this one in. And I am excited to have a new kind of cream color to work on. Because before it has been quite glitter heavy as you can see. We had this one obviously. We had this one which was like a black with glitter in it. And we also had this one. So it's been quite glitter heavy. And then I also had this one obviously that's metallic. And this one is also a bit more of a metallic. So I haven't had too many pure creams to work on. So I'm excited to roll this one in 
and have more of a kind of variety in the nail polishes that I'm working on. Moving on to my goals for next uh, update, I am gonna try to finish this SEO polish, but um, like I said, I'm not sure I can finish this in one month. It might take two months, but I'm gonna try to finish it up because this is the one that I have the least uh, product left in. So I'm, I'm gonna push for this one, but it might not be finished, but this is gonna be my first focus polish of the month. Then the second focus polish that I'm gonna work on is this lilac shade right here. I do want to get more progress on it than I had in the past month because that is not really enough progress for me to be happy with it. So I'm gonna push uh, to use this more, maybe try to use up half of what is left, um, but again, I might be pushing it, but I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, so that's gonna be my second focus polish. And then honestly, for the remaining three, I'm not gonna have a focus polish. I just want to get some decent use out of all three of them so I can mark um, like a decent amount out of them. Um, I think this one would be quite nice, especially in the beginning. And I think since the bottle is quite like narrow up here, I should be able to get quite a lot of progress uh, in the beginning. And then it's gonna be more difficult towards the end. So those are the goals for my next month. And that basically wraps up this update. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs thumbs up and otherwise I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!